You. you got it, Brett. Thank you. We want people to be safe out there on the roads. Meantime, one of the most politically powerful men in the state accused of destroying a marriage with a years long affair. It's news WRL broke overnight. Speaker of the House Tim Moore is being sued by a former Republican State House candidate and Apex Town Councilman for what they call alienation of affection. WRL reporter Chelsea Donovan joining us now. She's been looking into the details of this lawsuit and including some pictures in there, Chelsea, of uh, more with the woman he's accused of having an affair with leaving a local steakhouse. What else do we know about all this? Yeah, Dan, we know Scott Lassiter is seeking over $25,000 in damages. I spoke to an attorney about alienation of affection lawsuits. Our state actually one of only six in the nation that allow them. Most of the time they're settled outside of court as they can be expensive, to, expensive rather, and hard to prove. This is former Apex Town Councilman Scott Lassiter and his wife Jamie Lyles Lassiter pictured on their wedding day in 2013. Scott, a Wake County assistant principal, just filed a 22-page alienation of affection lawsuit claiming House Speaker Tim Moore destroyed his nearly 10-year marriage by having an affair with his wife for three years. It's pretty explosive to file this um, knowing that you're going to have so many eyes on it. Lassiter claims that Moore used his position as one of the most powerful elected officials in our state to entice Lyles Lassiter a mid-level employee of the state government to participate in an illicit relationship with him. Most of the time, the vast majority of these cases are settled outside of court. The lawsuit claims that Scott Lassiter followed his wife in December, finding she had dinner with Moore and spent hours with him at Sullivan Steakhouse in Raleigh. The lawsuit claims after dinner, defendant Tim Moore drove Mrs. Lassiter in the Lassiter's car to his residence in Raleigh, where they spent hours together and upon information and belief, had sex. Also also in the filing, Lassiter said he confronted his wife, who told him that she could not end her relationship with Moore for fear it would result in losing her job. The lawsuit also claims that Lassiter confronted Moore at a Biscuitville, and Moore asked him if there was anything he could do for him, implying that he could use the power he held as speaker in some way to benefit the plaintiff. Right now, we only get to see the plaintiff's side of things, so the defendant will have an opportunity and will file an answer and counterclaim. Lawsuit makes a lot of other other allegations without providing proof, including that Jamie Lassiter and Moore had group sex with people seeking political favor. Now, in a statement to WREL, Moore described the lawsuit as baseless, baseless rather, and he'll pursue all available legal remedies. Jamie Lyles Lassiter told WREL the lawsuit is punitive and suggested that Moore is not to blame for their estrangement and that Scott Lassiter, her husband, has serious mental health and substance abuse issues. A lot of personal details are being made public here. Chelsea Donovan live in Raleigh uh, joining us in the studio. Thank you, Chelsea. Now, we also have posted the full lawsuit as part of this story. If you would like to read more, go to WREL.com. Be on the lookout for an escaped inmate in Orange County.